Core on a year eight has hit the ground running faster than a weeb fleeing a nursery. And by launching season one with the Last Hero Standing event, the devs have done something incredible. Historically, every game mode has always been two individuals or teams going head to head. The closest we've ever got to a third party being involved is when both teams are fighting the Guardian in Breach. And this is one of the few fundamentals of For Honor that hasn't been altered since release. But now this formula has been flipped on its head with the introduction of the 1v1v1 game mode, accomplishing something For Honor was yet to achieve, changing the dynamic of gameplay. Adding a third party allows the player even more possibilities when approaching combat. Do you form a fragile alliance to take down the more dangerous opponent? Can you trust them not to turn on you mid-combo? You could play the waiting game and let the other two fight it out, swooping in to mop up. Careful your passivity doesn't encourage them to work together. What appears as a no-holds-barred brawl at first creates some interesting mind games between the three of you. I love the callback to the original CG trailer, it's a great way to celebrate the game's 8th birthday. Now we can fight over that puddle like it's the last drop of oil in the Middle East. Fighting in the aftermath of the Cataclysm reminds you of the themes introduced at For Honor's inception. The three factions being stripped down, butchering each other over what little resources remained. This desperation translates to the gameplay with the player doing whatever they can to win. The unsung night skin looks clean and provides a much needed contrast to Ramiel, with a more grounded, modest look, even though it looks a bit like Robocop. Your move. Creep. Now, I've seen a lot of players complaining about Warden getting a second skin, to which I say, Watch it, Chrissy. This is a bonus skin. There will be a second in title update too. Chill your beans. However, the new mode isn't exempt from causing Frona syndrome. Your enjoyment may vary depending on how your opponent plays. You might get matched with the guy who thought he was loading into Jules and proceeds to run around the arena until he can 1v1. Or you might get teamed on for every round. Wake up. New Frona Rage dropped. Why are they only going for me? Like, that guy's trying to kill you as well. It's like your friend. Yeah, I fainted the guard break twice. What and what? And what, bro? And what, bro? And what, bro? But this is just part of the Frona charm. Some characters will perform better than others. Big hitboxes and defensive properties shine in what's a team fight on steroids. Last Hero Standing continues to prove the devs can breathe some creativity into this 8 year old title. Whilst breaking the monotony of the core gameplay, Ubisoft made a big deal out of the year 8 launch with that promo video. It's almost like the shot callers are taking For Honor more seriously. I would encourage you all to play this mode and keep it active. If they have any sense, it will become a permanent addition. It would be tragic if the mode dies off in a week and is never heard from again, especially with how much work has gone into it. I think the devs are testing the waters to see how this mode performs, so once the event ends it may return afterwards. Let's hope it's a sign of things to come and we get a 4v4v4 Dominion mode next. Check out these videos for more For Honor content, stay safe and I'll see you on the next one.